Well guys, you know on this channel we talk a lot about dividend investing and long-term investing. What we don't talk a lot about is short-term and swing trading. Now I did recently create a uh, swing trading playlist for Webull. I use Webull as my swing trading platform and every now and then I'll do a day trade with it. Though I'm not normally a day trader, a swing trader, I'm more of a long-term guy. I do dabble in it every now and then when I have a pretty much sure bet on my pick. And here lately, I've actually been doing a lot more swing trading than usual. I figure I'm gonna take you guys in my swing trading portfolio and show you exactly what I use, what I look for, and how I place these swing trades. So I'm gonna show you an oversimplified way of how, uh, of what I use and how I pick my picks for swing trading. We're not gonna go over day trading today because that's a little more um, in depth and a lot, and I don't have a lot of time to go over it today. So look, before we get into it guys, thank you so much for pushing this channel like you have been lately. Um, we're almost to a thousand subs and I just want to say, guys, thank you so much for the growth you've been giving us this past couple months. A matter of fact, since I started. All right, you guys have been awesome. So if you want to continue help, continue pushing this, this, this channel and helping out, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm. Go ahead and whack it uh, to show the YouTube algorithm and uh, help this channel out more than you guys know. And hell, if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and hit that red subscribe button turn the gray to join this little family we have going on because we blowing up or soon to blow at least that's what some of the guys in the comments are saying so <laughs> i hope you guys are right but look so when it comes to swing trading there's two ways to go about it <laughs> there's two ways to go about it there's the technical analysis way and the psychological way or fundamental way so there's two ways that I do it. And there's also a mixture, I guess, so you can say there's three ways. So when it comes to swing trading, if I'm gonna use the fundamental or psychological approach, then what I'm looking for is a catalyst. A catalyst being something that's going to cause the stock to shoot up or shoot down in value on a particular time frame, on a particular day, whatever the case may be. So, Whenever I'm swing trading now, I generally swing trade um, large and mid cap stocks. I don't trade anything too small. You know what I mean? I don't know no penny stocks, none of that. No penny stocks, no small cap stocks. At least we try to stay away from that. So whenever I'm looking for that catalyst, I'm either looking for bad news or the earnings reports. Um, so if earnings comes down and I know it's a strong company, it may have just be doing a bad quarter. So I know that in the next following weeks to months, that company will shoot back up. Or if I'm playing, planning like a short swing uh, over a day or two, then if it shoots up and I know it's not sustainable, it's overbought and it's gonna come down, then I will short it for a few days or whatever the case may be. Um, that's basically the fund my fundamental and psychological approach. And then it's super simple, very simplified in that way. Um, good news comes out, it'll come up too high, we know it has to come down. Bad news comes out, it'll come too low, and we know it has to come back up at least a little bit. And we're playing on that little bit that it comes up or a little bit that it comes down. Of course, there is other factors that go into it, um, but it's usually, a pick by pick basis, uh, stock by stock, company by company basis. You know, I wouldn't play Disney the same way that I would play AMD or, that's basically how I work it, how I do it as far as the psychological fundamental approach. Again, that is super oversimplified. Um, next we have technical analysis. And two of my favorite things to use when it comes to technical analysis is the MACD indicators and the RSI indicators. So the MACD is this. It's short for it's short for moving average convergence and divergence. The MACD is a trading indicator used in technical analysis of stock prices created by Gerald Apple in the late 1970s. It is designed to reveal changes in the strength, direction, momentum and duration of a trend in a stock's price. Basically, all this does is show you the trend and how strong or weak it is. 
Um, it'll show you reversals. It'll, it'll show you when the trend is starting and where the trend is at um, on particular time frames on your charts. So for instance, on the day I could be on a downtrend, but on the week I could be on an uptrend, and on the month I could be on an uptrend, and on the year I could be on a downtrend. So you have trends within trends within trends, however you wanna look at it. Um, this is, it's, it works very well for identifying the trend. Of course, this is also a simplified way of um, to swing trade, to use these, this MACD and the RSI indicator. So you can play it for five days, you can play it for a month, you can play it for two months. However you wanna do it, that's how you do it. Now the RSI indicator, or relative strength index, is a technical indicator used in the analysis of financial markets. It is intended to chart the current and historical strength or weakness of a stock or market based on the closing prices of a recent trading period. The indicator should not be confused with relative strength. So this basically tells you if the stock is overbought or oversold. It's got a it's got a numerical value of zero to 100. And anything below 30 is oversold and anything above 70 is overbought. Um, and that's when you tend to see reversals. And I like to use the MACD and RSI together. So real quick guys, I'm gonna take you into the Webull account and I'm gonna show you how I use the MACD and RSI on here. And I'm also show you what plays I have as of now. So real quick, I'm up. Um, 25%, so $126 today. Carnival Cruise, I bought three shares because that's all I pretty much had uh, available at the time. So I bought three shares. Oop. I bought three shares, I'm up 11%. USO, I bought nine shares, I'm up 25%. And UCO, I bought 10 shares, and I'm up 45%. So I'm up a good bit. Uh, I definitely wanna see, and I'm not adding much money to this. I think I'm adding 25 bucks every week or every other week, really whenever I remember to put a few dollars in at a time. Um, I just, I'm doing that to kind of make it grow a little bit faster, but I'm definitely um, trying to grow it more with my gains I get. So real quick, let's go to Delta Airlines. So as you can see on here, we have it on the one hour chart. And this is the RSI on top and MACD on the bottom. And as you can see here, see the, the red line is above the 70. That means that we are currently overbought. So the price is a little bit hard to get into as far as the one hour chart. So we know that right now would be a bad time to get in as far as price wise. But as you can see the trend here at the bottom using the MACD, we can see it reversed overnight, shot up, and you could see the RSI and the MACD kind of correlate with one another. Um, once the orange line on the MACD crosses that blue line or green, I don't know what it is, I'm kind of colorblind. <clears throat> once that orange line crosses that blue line, it's a trend, a, a trend starts and a trend ends. So it happened overnight, a trend started, and it, well, a trend ended and then started a new trend and we started going up. That's when the RSI shows us we're overbought. Now, if we look daily, let's look daily, I'm sorry. We're looking daily over basically, let's look over roughly a 20 day span. As we can see here, the RSI indicator tells us that we aren't oversold or overbought. We're floating in the middle, but we are approaching overbought, but we're not overbought yet. Now, this doesn't tell me that it's overbought. All right. Now this, this doesn't tell me that it's a good time. It's like, I need to sell it or I need to buy it. It just basically says, hey, based on historical evidence, it's overbought, it's oversold for the time being. So that's kind of what it is. It's saying, hey, you might want to look into taking your profits now. It's not telling me I need to or I have to. But as we can see, if you see here on the 18th, it started to trend up on the RSI. And we're also seeing a trend on the MACD of an uptrend. So right now may be a pretty decent time as far as for the next 30 days or so, 20 days to get into a swing trade um, with Delta. 
Uh, you can also use it weekly over a longer span. So I know as far as a couple weeks over the past few months that we're definitely, I mean, obviously because of, you know, the market crash or whatever, we're down tremendously, but get out of the market crash. <laughs> we can see that we are definitely undervalued. Uh, I'm sorry, oversold right now because of the market crash. And you can see the downtrend is occurring. But if you look, the blue and the orange line is getting closer, which could indicate a change in direction or a trend change. And as we see, the RSI is getting above 30 and it is starting to trend up a little bit. Now, just because it hits above 70 and below 30 doesn't mean it automatically has to switch back. As you can see here on the RSI here, it kind of coasted down a little bit and it just stayed under the 30 line. It kind of coasted under the third line for quite a while. So yeah, you can also do it on the daily um, if you want to trade it by the day or you know once every two or three days, whatever the case may be. I can tell you right now that it is on a downtrend and it is approaching oversold. So, so yeah. So guys, that is basically how what I use and how I look um, to set up my swing trades. And I do this every, so yeah guys, that's basically what I look for and what I use to set up my swing trades, whether it be psychological approach or the technical approach. Now there is a little bit more that goes into it. Like I said, this is an oversimplification of how I do it. But so far, um, using these methods, I, I've been fairly successful with it, you know what I mean? Although I'm not using a whole bunch of money to, uh, <laughs> to swing trade or day trade using this method. Uh, I, I'm definitely growing, you know, at a decent rate, at least in my opinion. So guys, look, I hope this helped you out. And if it did <laughs> go ahead and smash that thumbs up button for the YouTube algorithm, cause that's what us YouTubers want. Obviously that's what everyone says. So <laughs> go ahead and do that for your boy. Also, listen. Let me know in the comments below what indicators you use and how you pick your swing trade stocks, if you even swing trade. And should I ramp up some more videos in this swing trading area playlist, Weeble, whatever you want to call it, this Weeble playlist? It's, uh, just let, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want some free stocks with Weeble for signing up and depositing your first $100, all you have to do, go in the description, click my link, once you sign up using my link and deposit your first hundred dollars, you'll get some free stocks and I will get a little free stocks too. And uh, that'd be awesome. You know, we both win in this situation. Anyway, guys, look, click that red subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you want to continue your journey to financial enlightenment with me, go ahead and click one of these videos. I'm going to get out of here, guys. You'll have a great day.